episode of Building the X set, we are focusing on mounting the hood. Now, um, I already have all my cutting and my mounts installed. Um, basically, just to kind of aid me in describing the best uh, possible way to do this process to you guys. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over first how I uh, drilled and cut on the hood. Um, or excuse me, I'm going to go first how I, how I mounted um, the pegs for the hood pins and what I used, and then I will go over the mounting on the hood or, and the cutting on the hood and how everything went in there. And then I'll go ahead and put the hood on and show you guys how it all clamps down and, and how I did it. There's a bunch of ways to do this, just showing you a way um, that I uh, like the best of all the options that I saw. Before you go through any cutting on your hood, you first must put your mounting points in uh, for your hood pins. This is because you do not know where to cut on the hood until you put these pins in. Uh, doing it the other way and cutting the holes first in the hood and then putting the pins there, you're just kind of doing a guessing game and probably going to have a bad time. So um, first off, to go over the fasteners I used, I used a quick latch uh, QL25 minis. Uh, for the front Those are a push-button latch. Let's see. That's the underside right there This is the pin up here then uh, for the we'll say passenger compartment side I used uh, Arrow catch they are 1200 series Let's see, or excuse me. Yeah, one 120 series um, and Basically, how they work is they have a latch and a, and a pin that slides in here from the top. They have this nice flange here um, uh, for helping clamp onto the fiberglass. Pretty nice units. I think the, the two quick latch in the front, I think those were $50. The arrow catches, I think, were $80 for the pair. So, a uh, good chunk of change for the hardware. But, um, first off, uh, this is designed for arrow catches. Um, as you can see here, this is the rod they provide you. There's a hole in this pin down here. This is the rubber, basically, for when the hood pushes down to uh, hold it tight. And then the pin will go through this um, eye hole right there. So there's two mounts, one on each side in the rear for a motive. And so it's kind of a no-brainer just to use those back here. In the front, you can use arrow catches. Um, I did not... Um, I didn't... Uh, I don't like how big they are, and I really didn't want two more huge ones in the front. So in the front, I'm using the quick latches. And basically, these are a similar idea where there's a hood pin sticking up. That, however, just that you press the button and it releases the clamp so it can come up. You put it over, and then when the button's um, released, it clamps onto this ball here. Um, I did have to, right here, uh, make up these brackets. Um, as the stock brackets once you're mounting to the side here and I just really wanted two on top I've seen a lot of guys do that and it looked good um, I did have to remove my uh, that little top hat here from the 1.6 throttle body uh, that I think makes it softer to, on the throttle body closing I will also have to grind down the address adjustment screw here too um, the, not the actual screw, but the hole that it sits in. I'll have to grind the top of this down for clearance. I have probably about that much clearance right now above my valve cover. This is the high spot. Um, these are three inches tall, and then there's an inch and a quarter sticking out. So I have about four and a half inches off this top support here for these. So basically I got those all mounted up first. Um, then what I did is I went over to the hood and uh, set it on and marked where the pin was for these and where the pins were for those uh, with a felt pen and then came back and cut everything out and installed the the latches in the bottom here so um, i'm going to go ahead and flip the hood over and show you guys what these look like from the top so you can get a visual on that and then we'll get the hood on okay so this is still a little dusty from uh cutting all the fiberglass but um these are the arrow catches here as you can see they have a lock mechanism on them so just for security uh, if you want but basically you press this button here the latch pops up you pull this latch bot up and it releases this pin so um, really the pin the mount sticks up from the car through this hole and this pin goes through that um, eyelet there as you can see and then basically it goes through that to secure it 
and pop that back in. These up here are much simpler. Basically, you're, you just push the button in. Right now, they're released, so you can't you push the button in. It pops off the hood. So uh, that's what those four look like on there. Also, while you're mocking up your mounting points, you will have a hard time getting your radiator to fit. You'll have to push this part down because most of the time, depending on how you mount your radiator, it will rub. So go ahead and mark for your cutting out like I did here for the radiator to fit underneath because it will sit down below the car. Also be sure to put some relief cuts with a drill bit in these corners as 90 degree corners in fiberglass will like to crack eventually. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set on the car and get it latched up and just kind of show you guys the clearances and how it all looks. Okay, so here's the hood all mounted and I wiped it off real quick. Uh, basically you can see the arrow catches up here and the quick release here, or the quick latch here. And these are basically just push the button, it pops off the ball. Um, then down here you can see my cutout for my radiator. The plug in the radiator is right here, so this was rubbing against it there, so I went ahead and cut it out to the front of the radiator. And uh, um, hopefully when I do my intercooler up here, I won't have to, hopefully I won't have to cut into that, but we'll see. So um, on the side here, as you can see, I got about a, oh, probably about an inch in the front and about a little over a half inch in the back, which is about consistent with what I've seen with other people's. And then uh, same here, a little less than an inch here, about a half inch in the back there. So um, one thing I don't like is that it does have a drift up to here. I don't believe it has to do with these latches. The whole thing has a real dip in the middle. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, hopefully that helped you out. I know it wasn't real in-depth showing you how I cut these things and everything, but I think you guys can figure it out pretty easily. Just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of what all the latches look like when you mount your hood in the orientation that I did. Another thing too, real quick, this will not cover this bar. It's not supposed to. There's nothing wrong. That's unfortunately, it stops short of that bar. So anyways, uh, if you like this video and like my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button. Appreciate it, guys. See you next time.